We are aware of the pain that has been caused by the character letters that we wrote on behalf of Danny Masterson. After they had been trending for all the wrong reasons over the past couple days, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis took to Instagram to address the criticism that they've been receiving for writing character testimonials for their former That 70s Show co-star Danny Masterson after he was convicted of raping two women. The letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system or the validity of the jury's ruling. Unfortunately, what Mila fails to realize is that without reading a single word of her letter, knowing that she wrote a letter to begin with, is her supporting a convicted rapist. Like, that's what the headline is. Now, Ashton explains how these letters came to be. A couple months ago, Danny's family reached out to us and they asked us to write character letters to represent the person that we knew for 25 years so that the judge could take that into full consideration relative to the sentencing. So in Ashton's letter to the judge, he wrote that Danny was a role model for him, an honest and dependable friend, a positive influence on him, and that Danny was the kind of brother others would be lucky to have. While in her own letter, Mila calls Danny an amazing friend, a confidant, an outstanding older brother figure to her, and had an unwavering commitment to discouraging the use of drugs. What does any of that have to do with Danny raping two women? Now, Ashton wrongly thought that these letters were for the judge's eyes only. They were intended for the judge to read. Well, now that Danny has been sentenced to 30 years to life in prison, and the court proceedings have become public, including their letters, Ashton and Mila have had the answer to people like Christina Ricci. A few hours after Ashton posted that video on his Instagram, Christina wrote this on her Instagram story. So sometimes people we have loved and admired do horrible things. They may not do these things to us, and we only know who they were to us, but that doesn't mean they didn't do the horrible things. And to discredit the abused is a crime. People we know as awesome guys can be predators and abusers. It's tough to accept, but we have to. We support victims. We have done this historically through our work and will continue to do so in the future. If we say we support victims, women, children, men, boys, then we must be able to take this stance. Unfortunately, I've known lots of awesome guys who are lovely to me who have been proven to be abusers privately. I've also had personal experience with this. Believe victims. It's not easy to come forward. It's not easy to get a conviction. Our heart goes out to every single person who's ever been a victim of sexual assault, sexual abuse, or rape. Even Mila calling Danny an extraordinary husband seems out of place for me. Like, that's Bijou's place to say that. No matter how much you were around them, you can't testify to his performance as a husband. You can testify to his performance as a friend, but no, you don't know his performance as a husband. You can't testify to that. Now that others like myself have read the letters, Ashton is apologizing for how they're being taken and what they weren't intended to do. Not to undermine the testimony of the victims or re-traumatize them in any way. We would never want to do that. And we're sorry if that has taken place. While I appreciate that Ashton is now apologizing, I did find the wording of his final paragraph to be um, absolutely undermining the victims. As he writes, while I'm aware that the judgment has been cast as guilty on two counts of rape by force, and the victims have a great desire for justice, I hope that my testament to his character is taken into consideration in sentencing. I'm gonna read that again. Judgment has been cast as guilty, and the victims have a great desire for justice. That's very odd wording to me, and like verbal like acrobatics to perform to avoid saying that Danny raped two women. And then Ashton goes on to say, having his daughter raised without a present father would be a tertiary injustice in and of itself. So Danny's daughter is nine years old. So you can argue how long a child is still being raised for, um, but let's say till the age of 18. So Ashton is saying that it would be wrong and unjust for Danny to serve more than nine years for raping two women. Danny's daughter deserves to have a father who raped two women part of her everyday life as she grows up over the next nine years. Like that's how that reads Ashton. I can empathize that Ashton and Mila had an incredible friendship with Danny, and it must be incredibly difficult to come to terms with the fact that that person that you knew raped two women. I get that. But you made a choice here. Like, instead of letting the judicial system, you know, do its thing, you wrote a letter in hopes of lessening Danny's sentence for raping two women. Neither one of the letters say anything about the case. Like, they don't say, oh, Danny now has expressed empathy or, you know, regrets. No, it doesn't say anything like that. You hoped that testifying that Danny was always on time and worked hard on set of That 70s Show would mean he would serve less time for raping two women. Like, you think his punctuality should counteract the fact that he raped two women. And you can try to play dumb and say, oh, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just talking about how, what a great friend he was to me. But you have to think when you're writing that letter, what does that have to do with him raping two women? Why should that counter the victim's right to justice against the rapist. Yeah, this is a tough one, but yeah, what are your thoughts? 